It is essential to get the legal theory correct before task organizing in order to enforce it. The political philosophy of a free state recognizes that law exists solely to protect people and their property, rather than being perverted into an instrument of plunder as it is now, a kleptocratic vehicle by which everyone tries to live at the expense of everyone else, as Friedrich Bastiat surmised. The law in a free society is simple, universal, and accessible to everyone. Do all you have agreed to do, do not encroach upon other people or their property. Property. With this, social order revolves around clearly distinguishable property boundaries and voluntary contracts, which are agreements to exchange property. The political caste, of course, presently derives their sustenance through invading and plundering other people's property, and, therefore, has an overwhelming incentive to undermine a common law that applies to everyone equally. This is another reason why we the people must be the ultimate arbiters of what laws get enforced, and the militia system is the vehicle for putting equality under the law into operation. It is the practical means for arresting the tendency of the political case to arrogate privileges for themselves at the expense of everyone else. It is also the only way to effectively put an end to gun control. All infringements upon the right to be secure in our papers, houses, and effects, all of which are forms of property, including arms, which are a uniquely protected form of property via the Second Amendment, must be eliminated. Submitting to the slightest degree of property or contract encroachment is to surrender the principle completely. From there, it is only a matter of time for the law's perversion to slide down a slippery slope into the instrument of plunder it is today. This is why policymakers need to be dependent upon we the people in order to execute the laws, and that is exactly what the U.S. Constitution does in Article 1, Section 8, Clause 15. The true purpose of the Second Amendment is to secure a free state. It does this by denying the political case any monopoly on the use of force and empowers the people to actively engage in self-government. Restoring constitutional order depends on awakening to the truth that we the people have the power, authority, and legitimacy to provide enduring safety guards for our liberty. Without reliance on, but on suppressing with force, the rapacious ambitions of politicians, bureaucrats, and cronies. The Second Amendment is how we the people return law from being an instrument of plunder to protecting people and their property in a free society.